Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, let me just adjust my tie a little bit. You know, at the right tie, I could sell about anything. Hey, you ain't recording that, are you? No. Hey, welcome to Mullet World. We got a 12-speed mullet here. We got an 11-speed mullet. We got a 10-speed mullet. And our latest mullet, the Iron Horse, that's an 8-speed. What we don't have is a 9-speed mullet. And on this episode of The Shed, we're going to take care of that. We're going to go over some of the available options for 9-speed derailers and cassettes. And we're going to show that maybe there are situations that a 9-speed might be right for you. All that and more today on this episode of The Shed. Hey, welcome back to The Shed. Just like I said in the introduction, we're going to be talking about 9-speed derailers today. And I'm going to tell you why I decided to do the 9-speed. You can see I got the cassette on there already. I'm putting this bike together mostly out of parts I had hanging around. It's going to be kind of a spare bike. And I had a few 9-speed setups, so I was originally going to just use all the stuff I had, but I ran across this derailleur that I've been holding back from telling you what it is, because I'm going to reveal it to you a little later after we talk about some other derailleurs. So let's go over to the whiteboard. We're going to talk about 9-speed stuff. So when I started going down this 9-speed path, it was basically because I had parts. But as I started actually researching different things about 9-speeds, there may be some valid reasons for trying a 9-speed setup. Now, as far as I can tell, SRAM and Shimano don't make a clutch-style derailleur for 9-speed. The only one who makes a clutch-style derailleur <clears throat> that I ran across was Microshift. So, we're going to look at a couple derailleurs before I tell you what the one I bought was. <clears throat> we're going to start out with a Shimano Altus. Now these you find a lot of times on OEM bikes, even uh, I just ran across a Cannondale. It was probably a $1,400 bike, had an Altus. <clears throat> Not a bad derailleur. It's an RDM 370 SGS with Shimano. It just means it's a long cage. No clutch. 34 tooth maximum is what it's rated for. I had it with that 46 tooth sprocket with a link. And... Uh, it worked. It worked okay. It was out of its range. It didn't work great. Next one I actually tried on there was a Dior. Also, was well, an M5 592 SGS long cage. No clutch. 36 tooth max. Now this one, same thing. I used the link on the 46 tooth uh, cassette. I also had one of these on with a 11 to 42, which worked without the extension link, even though it was only rated at 36, it did work. So Microshift Advent, we're going to talk about next. And Microshift Advent is the only one that you can get with a clutch. Now this one here is off my Kent Travail, and it doesn't have a clutch. But if you notice, well, you have the RDM 619M is medium cage, no clutch. The RDM 6195M is medium cage, but with a clutch. 46 tooth max. So the thing is, you can run this without, without an extender uh, piece, and you can get it with a clutch. So probably for most normal 9-speed setups, it'd probably be a good way to go. Now, the only other thing I want to mention is, well, one thing, with the micro shift, you have to use the micro shift shifter. It has a different pull ratio than like everything else. One last thing I'm going to bring out, and I don't know if it'll work, but I ran across it while I was doing research on the 9-speed stuff. Shimano 5100. If you watch my channel, you know it's my go-to derailleur. It's really an 11-speed derailleur, but according to what I found, a SRAM 9-speed shifter has the same pull ratio. And if you use that shifter with that derailleur, you could run... You can run it as a 9-speed, and it'll have a clutch. It's a really good derailleur, in my opinion. It's my favorite. Now, before I get into what my mystery derailleur was, I want to. this is why I'm thinking it might be a valid thing to try the 9-speed stuff. So I wrote down, I got some, these are all 11 to 46 cassettes. Microshift has a 9-speed. Now, if you notice, anything in red kind of overlaps with other cassettes. But if you notice... So Zitto 9-speed is the one I have. 11 to 13, identical, right? 
the only difference is this one's toward the end. This is this one's toward. So this is second and third is a little closer together. And this one, the higher end, it's uh, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. So these are a little bit close. These are a little bit uh, closer together. So it just depends where you want, where you need it to be the closest together for you. This, I would think, I, I don't think this is as good as this because when you're climbing, you want them a little bit closer because you're not always going to be in 40, you know, first gear going up a hill. But that really could depend on you. But look down here at the at the Z Race 10 speed and the Z Race 11 speed. They all basically overlap all the way up to here, 10 speed and 11 speed, right? And if you look up to here, they're basically overlapping. Very little difference. You're just losing one gear, but the ratios are not very much different. 40, 46, 40, 46, 34, 34, 28, 28, 24, 24, 11, 11, 13, 13, right? So you're just 15 to 21 just has something in the middle. Well, actually 15 to 24 has an extra gear in the middle compared to here. So that little bit wider range sometimes is better. You know, when you're, when you're riding around in the woods, you don't have to shift as much. So... I don't know, it's something to think about. I did it basically for parts because it's what I had, but there's a real valid reason for thinking about running a 9-speed, just the wider ratio and all that. All right, so now we're going to talk about my mystery derailleur. It's a Sun Race. I didn't even know they made derailleurs. I know, I know they sold cassettes and all, but it's a RDM, RDM 900. Just a quick look, I got the specs written down here. It's a medium cage with an adjustable clutch and 50 tooth max for first gear and supposedly has Shimano shifter pull ratios so I can use my Shimano 9 speed shifter. Let's just take a look at this puppy. Looks a lot like the other ones. To me, it looks like a pretty quality piece. You know, I don't know till we actually, till we actually run it. It's nice. It has the lever to turn the clutch on and off. I haven't looked into it to see how you would adjust the uh, tension on the, on the clutch, but it says it is adjustable. Nine speed. You know, it looks like a pretty nice piece. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this on the bike. And then we're going to come back and we're going to run through the gears and see, see how it shifts. And we'll get an initial impression on how it works. So I got the derailleur on. I may be losing a little bit of my enthusiasm for this derailleur, though. It's giving me a hard time. You know, you see this little... I think the, the SRAM GXs have the same kind of thing, but I had a heck of a time getting the cable to go through that. It was a struggle. And I got it adjusted and it's kind of shifting... The possibility of what I read on the internet isn't true, and a Shimano shifter is not the same pull ratio. So, it could be that. I got it in a ballpark, though. I, I could still fine-tune it a little bit. I think we're going to try it like this, and if nothing else, I'm going to buy a, a Sunray shifter if I can't get nothing to work. But we're going to run through the gears. You can see I got it in a ballpark. Drop one came back. That's why I don't know if the pull ratio might be off a little bit. I got it kind of working. A little noisy in high in uh first, but but one thing I'll show you is good. Watch, I can backpedal it and don't don't downshift. Don't change gear, so yeah, I don't know. Could be the pull ratio. I'm gonna I'm gonna run it a little bit, play around with the uh, fine tune adjustment, see what happens. The clutch feels pretty nice. It's pretty. Uh, I obviously can't do a bounce test because I don't have a front wheel yet. I'm waiting on a rim. So 
we're going to revisit this and give it a trial out on the trail and uh, tell you I think it a derailleur. But I want to make sure we give it a fair shot. If I need to buy the shifter, I'll get the different shifter. And then as I wrap this video up, I just want to say one thing. Obviously, I didn't cover every 9-speed derailleur out there. But as far as I can tell, Shimano and SRAM don't have 9-speed derailleurs with clutches. The only one it does is Microshift. Microshift with their Advent has a clutch and the Sunrays. So, but I think we went over to we went over to cassettes and all that. I think you could see there's a legitimate reason to maybe try a nine speed. There is a possibility that it might work really good depending where you ride. So, we're gonna leave it at that, and uh, I'll catch you next time on the shed.